Today we're going to talk about the HP DL160 Gen 10. This unit's a lot shorter than the DL360 and DL380, but it's still a good choice. This particular unit supports four LFF drives, but it's using an onboard RAID card even though it supports an add-on RAID card. This particular unit doesn't come with one. Now, we're going to take a look at the back of this system before we open it. Okay, here's the back of the system. As you can see, it has some USB ports, an SVGA port for the video output, and an additional dual port NIC card. We also have two power supplies. Okay, the cover is off, and as you can see, there's only one CPU installed here. You can add an additional RAID card and CPU if you wanted to, but we won't. In our case, we're currently using an onboard RAID card, which does not support all types of drives, and it's also a lot slower. But either way, we're not going to be using this at all. I don't know if you can see, but there's a small micro SD card there that has 30 gigs of storage, and we're going to use ILO to install ESXi on it. Okay, the system loads up pretty quickly, unlike other HP Gen 10 servers. We're going to reset the system in ILO before we install ESXi. Right now, during boot, you need to press F9. Once the system utility loads up, we're going to go into the system configuration, and we're going to go into both the BIOS and ILO and reset both to defaults while also changing the ILO password. Okay, we're going to log into ILO using our administrator account and password. Once we're logged on, we're going to click on Remote Console and Media, and we're going to choose the HTML5 console. At this point, we're going to mount the media by pressing the disk icon, choosing local CD slash DVD, and then choosing local.iso file. Now, select the VMware installer. Now, open the keyboard GUI and select Control, Alt, Delete to reboot. While the system is rebooting, select F11 to enter the boot menu. At the boot menu, we're going to select the ILO virtual CD-ROM file, and this will boot us into the ESXi installer. It takes a while for the ESXi installer to load up. Just wait. One eternity later. Press Enter, F11, and then Enter again. Press Enter. When it's done scanning, use the arrow keys to select the install option. Press Enter. Now choose whichever layout your country uses and enter your password. OK, we're going to press Enter here again, and now press F11 and wait for it to finish installing. Now we're going to enter VMware ESXi by entering the system's IP. OK. We entered the IP address that we saw through ILO for our ESXi server. Click Advanced and accept the risk. Now we're going to log in. We're not going to save the password due to security reasons, but if you want to, that's fine. That's about it for this video, and if you need any help learning about ESXi or setting it up, just let us know. And if you would like to purchase this system, just leave a comment on this video. I'm